Wessel Creek kids, it's Miss Becky. We're gonna do our lesson today and I kind of thought I would like to come to church and do our lesson today. So I'm glad you're here with me. So we're gonna do our lesson here today but there's something missing my kids are missing looks kind of strange there's nobody in here oh my where's David and where's Finley and Liam and Wyatt are missing and I don't see Brantley or Blair or Reagan I don't see Reed, I don't see Jake, or Kai, or Max. Where's everybody at? Oh, that's right, I remember now. We're doing things a little bit different now because we're having drive-in church, you know, because things in the world are a little bit different than what we're used to. But that's okay because, you know what? We can still have church. We can still have church. And Jesus is still here. Okay, so we're having our lesson, but is Jesus still here? Yes, he is. Even though you're not here in this building with me, we can still have church because where is the church? Who is the church? The Bible tells us that we are the church, right? So it doesn't matter if you're not here or where we're at, we can still have church together. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to have our lesson. But you know what? We always pray first, don't we? We always pray first. And I'm going to do that. I'm going to pray for us. And even though you're at home, you can pray with me. And I want you to help, tell, help me tell Mama and Daddy and brother and sister and Grandma and Grandpa, whoever's there with you, I want you to help tell them what we do when we pray. We do what? Say it loud, Liam. Praying, not playing, right? And so now you can tell them what that means. What did we learn about that? That when we pray, Jesus needs to be able to hear our prayers, doesn't he? So we can't be jumping around and uh, pulling at our clothes. We need to be praying so, and not playing so Jesus can hear us. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to go and I'm going to open this up in prayer and then we'll continue on. Come over here with me. Dear Lord, we thank you for this day you have given us. And Lord, I just thank you for each one of those precious children, my little babies, God, even though they're not here with me today, you know that they're safe in their homes. And I thank you, Lord, for looking over them. I just ask a special blessing on them and their families. Keep them safe and healthy, Lord. I ask a special blessing on all of our church family as we are not together. Lord, keep us safe, but keep us ever mindful that you are in control and you are in control of this situation and in our lives. And Lord, I just ask if there's someone, whether it be the, our children or a church member or someone that's listening that doesn't know you, Lord, that today be the day that they have that conviction on their heart and that they make you their Lord and Savior of their life. And Lord, I thank you for the blessings on my family for keeping us safe. I ask this all in your precious holy name. In Christ's name I pray. Amen. Okay. So the Bible talks about the church and the people of the church. And in the Bible, it says that a church is people, not a place. So that's something that I want you guys to remember, that this building is a church, but it's not really the church. We are the church. People are the church. God's people are the church. The church is a body of believers. That's us. That's you and that's me that live out the gospel in their words and actions. The church is at its very best when people inside the building, that's us because it's, remember it's just a building, take Jesus' message outside the building and we serve those people that we meet. Jesus didn't need to stay in this church, in this building. We need to take him out of this building with us when we go. And right now, because things are different, we're not in this church. So we need to be showing Jesus outside of this church. Jake. Kai. 
Where do you think church is? I'm having church right here. I can have church right here too. Thank you, Lord. I can have church right here. Hey guys, so now we're in the car. You know, we've been in the car a lot at church. We've been doing drive up church because things are a little bit different now. So when we're in the car, does that mean we're not at church anymore? We're not having church? No. So let me tell you what the Bible says about that. In Matthew 18, 20, it says, where, For where two or three are gathered in together in my name, there am I in the midst of them. For where there are two or three gathered together in my name. Who's my name? That's Jesus' name. There am I in the midst of them. So even when you're in the car, you can have church. I love coming to the pond, not only because I love to fish, but this is a nice, quiet place so I can think and I can read my Bible, like Matthew 18 and 20, our verse, for where two or three are gathered together in my name, there I am in the midst of them. So you see, I can have church right here at the pond. It is a beautiful day out here, kids. But I will tell you this, this water is cold. So if you can't go swimming, then guess what you can do? You can have church. I'm on my favorite spot, on my porch at home, and I can have church. Okay, so we see that church can be many different places, right? Liam? Did you find church anywhere we went? How about you, Kai and Jake? Did you find church? What about you, Reagan? Did you find church somewhere? Remember, though, church is not necessarily the building. It's wherever you and Jesus are. So where you're having church, make sure that you include Jesus in church with you too, okay? Because he wants to be there and he is always there in church with you. Just remember that. So let's remember our verse too, Matthew 18 and 20. For where two or three are gathered in his name, there am I in the midst of them. Remember that? Where two or three are gathered in his name, that means you have to do it with Jesus too. You can't leave him out of church. There am I in the midst of them. And he tells us in the Bible that he's going to be there and we know that what Jesus tells us in the Bible is true, right? I miss you guys so much. I miss seeing you. I miss those hugs you give me. But you know we're going to be back together really soon. And until then, just remember to continue praying for each other and pray for Miss Becky. I've always told you if you don't have anybody to pray for, you can always pray for Miss Becky. I love you guys so much and can't wait to see you again. Bye.